Yeah, I want to do a quick video of how I'm going to use ClassKick to do reading assessments, uh, possibly synchronously, possibly asynchronously. Uh, and I know it might not be as valid as what we would like. You know, it, so certainly not something that we would want a normed test because we're not following the same procedures. But for my information to get information on uh, my students' reading ability. Now this would also work for just how to use ClassKick to do many things, but I just want to show for reading assessments because that's one of the first things we deal with students. And this gives me the ability to assess even while we're, you know, doing this crazy distance. So you may see. So ClassKick is like Nearpod, it's like Pear Deck. It allows uh, in that it operates um, to do real-time assignments for our students. Um, and I've showed in other videos how you can use it to see your students' work. But let me show you for building an assessment super quickly. So class kick allows 20 free. And I hate that teachers are spending so much of our own money uh, to get what we need to, to do our job. So I like that it allows 20 free assignments. Now you could easily burn through 20 assignments. So I can see where having a pro account would be helpful, but I think I can do a lot with 20 because you can then delete what you're not using, what you're done with, and just keep. So you, it's not like once you've made an assignment, that's it, it counted against your 20. You can keep 20 assignments. So if you're done in this assignment, uh, you can get rid of it and then make a new one. So here in Class Kick, I go to the green plus and I'm going to build a new assignment and this one I'm going to create from file. I'm going to use my San Diego quick assessment of reading and just watch how fast this is. I love it. I'm going to import all pages. Now I could, you know, separate it, but I just want you to see how fast it is. Now it's actually faster when I'm not recording at the same time. But I've done it where I had this 40 page PDF of, oh, there it is, it's done. This one's just four pages. But I had this 40 page PDF and it went boom and it was in there for the students to use. So it happens that for the reading assessment, I really only want one of these pages. But I wanted to show you how quickly it is to, you, to import from a PDF. So I'm going to just get rid of this page. I'm going to get rid of this page. This is the page that I record on. I'm going to get rid of this page because none of these students read at 8th grade, 9th grade, 10th grade level. There we go. So I just have this page, but I want you to see how fast it is. So I can actually put instructions on this page. I can add a text and write out instructions. I can do an audio. So this icon here is audio and I won't do the full thing, but I'll just show you an example of what it looks like. So I can hit record and I'll say, I want you to read each column, column by column, and record yourself, record your reading. Use the microphone icon that's above, it's right next to the camera, and record your reading. Once you're re done recording each reading, each column, place that microphone uh, recording just above that column. Do your best, and if it gets too hard, you just stop. So that's not necessarily what I would actually say to the students, but as an example. So when the students get this, they can come down and record their reading and place their audio recording here. Now what I like about this, now I know Nearpod and some of the others allow recording and Seesaw allows recording, but mostly you do one recording per page. So uh, I like that you can record the recording, you can have multiple recordings and it stays with the page and the student can erase it, their recording. They can't erase what I put in here, but they can erase their recording and do it again. So there are things I can't control if we don't do it synchronously, but I like that I can get some recording from them. Uh, so there's that page. Now let's say I want to add a page of oral reading fluency. So 
that was just an example of pulling up something um, from the file. But let's say I want to just add a page. I'm going to just go to my, um, I'll show you what it is. I have the Florida Center for Reading Research. They've published oral reading fluency assessments. And so I'm going to just take a screenshot of this and pop it in. So using my print screen, I'm going to go and make a uh, screenshot of this. Okay. And then I'm going to add, using my photo, upload from the computer. And here it is, the screenshot of it. So next. That's it. We're putting it in here. Finish. I could say I'm going to add another screenshot. And there it is. That's just very quickly from a screenshot, pop it in, and I can then give another audio instruction and tell the kids to record their reading. When I get it, I could then listen to all of their recordings. I can I like having a recording for oral reading fluency because not it's not just about speed, but you know the the uh, really listening for prosody and getting my information of how to help the student, you know, what I what I see that the student needs help with. So that's it. So this uh, this assignment, that's how quick it is to make an assessment in here. Uh, there are more functions for in class kick. They have lots of functions where uh, I can put um, sorry, let me just label it. I could put uh, multiple choice things. I could put drag and drops. Uh, all of those features are available here. Okay, I hope that helps.